Hey, so it's Michael Sheehan from HighTechDad.com, and I'm with Adam and Judy from Design Squad Nation. And uh, why don't you guys tell me a little bit about Design Squad Nation, what it is. It's a TV show, but more, right? Yeah. Right. So, so Adam and I are the hosts of Design Squad Nation, and the show is a PBS TV engineering series. Mm -hmm. And it's a pretty cool show because we get to work with kids around the world and across the nation to um, help them make their dreams come true through engineering. So it's about teaching them that engineering is actually everywhere in the world. It's not just boring and in the classroom. It's actually outside and actually part of their, integrated into their everyday life. So, you know, we have an episode about skate parks, fashion, as Music, well. Music, food, like all yeah. kinds of sports. So, so when you guys mentioned engineering, we, they just did a, a show with the Catapult earlier. My kids, who are, well, there are two of them are here, um, kind of scratch their head. What is engineering? Can you explain to like the kids out there what engineering actually is? Sure, yeah. That, I mean, that's what the show is all about. Because I think when I was a kid, I didn't know what engineering was either. Um, and I think what we try to show kids is that you know, engineering is, is about kind of you know, designing and making the things that we, we use um, you know, on, a, on a daily basis, whether it's our phones or our computers the cars that get us around. Um, so it's the people kind of with the, the background to understand how those things work, you know, physically, how to assemble them, how to put them together, how to make them, how to make them beautiful and fun to use. Um, and I think when kids get that, they're like, oh, I, I love trains, I love cars. Like, I, my phone is so cool. And that connects them to something that they might actually want to sort of like, you know, pursue themselves. So, yeah, right? it, it's kind of funny, because I feel like um, what, what the message kids are hearing today, is it's, it's about science, technology, math, and that's kind of it. I feel like that's part of it. Those are the fundamentals and the foundation of, of, of engineering. But I feel like the message that we're trying to get across is like, now how do you take those and apply it into something cool like yeah. engineering? Yeah, yeah, no, that's great. And you guys are both engineers. You went to Stanford, you went to? NC State. NC State. Mm -hmm. And now you're working together at the same company. Yep, so we're, uh, we're both at IDEO. Judy's a, a product designer mm -hmm. and I'm an engineer at IDEO, um, which is, uh, we're down in Palo Alto. Uh, so IDEO is a design and innovation company. Mm -hmm. um, we work with uh, pretty amazing clients all around the world to come up with um, uh, exciting new products, services, strategies, experiences for, for those customers. It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So engineering can, can lead you into these very different types of, of careers. So like for the kids, yeah. you're introducing them to engineering early and hopefully to inspire them to do you know something along those lines later on that's so, the idea i that's when great. i was younger i wanted to, I did, it was the company i wanted to work for so i feel fortunate that i've kind of wound up there so i want we want to kind of inspire kids to sort of find their own dream whatever it is and then think about how engineering can kind of be a part of that and it can it can take them on a completely different direction as yeah, well i was an english was. major and now i'm deep in technology you know so it's like it it can inspire you to do lots of different things. Yeah. Um, so tell me, uh, what was the the best show that you produced um, to date? The most fun one. I think the most fun one. Well, all of them were kind of fun. Mm -hmm. to a be lot, honest. a lot of fun. More than kind yeah. of fun. Each challenge was just so different, and like the kids were just so different that we were working with. Mm -hmm. But I think the one that I had probably the most fun on was the one that we actually did with um, fashion. So we worked with uh, two young aspiring fashion designers, Eduarda and Juan, and um, we were faced with a challenge to design a gown that combined fashion and technology mm -hmm. and for, for uh, a gown from Christian Siriana's line. So we kind of split up boys versus girls and had the challenge to, to actually mm -hmm. move forward. That's great. It was great. It was it was a really hard one for well for me at least because it was like it was tackling an area like fashion and clothes construction which is completely foreign to me right mm -hmm. um, and learning how to how to kind of rely on one to, to learn about that area um, contribute to it in a really short amount of time it was a huge challenge um, but I learned a lot I think Juan and hopefully Eduardo too learned oh, a lot absolutely. about kind of like what engineering can bring to their craft um, and there were these two like sort of really. You, you wouldn't put engineering and fashion, I think, in the same sentence, like, you know, ever in a million years, necessarily. But I think it was a really cool challenge for us to show how they could actually be really, really complementary, and the result was great, I think, so, mm -hmm. yeah. So, where can people learn more about the show and about the different projects? So, you can actually watch this online. Okay. You can go to pbskidsgo.org slash design squad nation. You can watch all, uh, most of the episodes there now. 
or you can watch us um, if you're in the Bay Area at KTEH, Saturdays at 10.30. Okay, but it's also across the nation? It's all across the nation, yeah, so local listings are going to be different, but you know, PBS stations all across the nation. That's great. Um, and the website is a great spot to not only to see the shows, but there's a lot of great videos and a blog, um, activities, activities yeah. kids can do, can mm-hmm. download, competitions, um, and a really neat area where kids actually submit their own ideas. So they watch the cake episode and they think, wow, a robotic cake, that's cool. What if I had a robotic cake with a jetpack and it flew? <laughs> and they just <laughs> and kind of catapult, build it. And right? they catapult, right? <laughs> they, like they just nice. build it. Yeah. And maybe the next thing you know, you've got a robotic dress with a catapult and cake and it flies. And uh, right. it's very cool. So obviously it's for kids, but there's stuff for parents as well. Uh, my, a lot of my audience uh, you know, are, are parents who, who listen in and want to learn how technology you know, works with their family environment. Sure. So what kind of things can parents find on the site? There's actually a lot of great activities, so similar to the ones that you're seeing here today. Okay. Um, there's, there's a lot of great activities that actually parents as well as, as teachers can actually do with their kids or their students. And most of the activities are really simple stuff, like using things you can find around the house, like paint stirs, wooden spools, duct tape, things like that. Similar to you know the catapult that you see here, you can mm-hmm. actually make a, a, mini, a mini version of it, and we call it the pop fly. Right. That's right. And you can download those. There's step-by-step instructions and pictures. And, and we, we videos. have videos of us yeah. doing it, too. So great. it's a great resource. All right. Well, Judy and Adam, thank you very much. Thanks and so, much. Um, so this has been Michael Sheehan from HighTechDad.com. You can visit my website at www.HighTechDad.com. And if you have any questions for me, follow me on Twitter. And I'm obviously at HighTechDad.